Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Escape from Tarkov. Uh, this is not Road to Lighthouse, and this is not Lone Wolf, this is just simply a response to a viewer request. They asked, Khan, how in the world did you make such stupid amounts of money? Well, we are standing in the very place that you need to go to to be able to do it. We're on our scav. If you've noticed before, we have max scav rep. I would recommend doing this on a scav with max scav rep because there's a boss spawn right above us and if you don't have max scav rep, even as a scav, every scav in the area is going to attack you. Now, as you're standing here, you're probably wondering like, hey, you can't, what happened to your arm? We got into a bit of a fight to get here, uh, but I wanted to show you guys the actual key and the actual run that we use to make hundreds of millions, and I mean hundreds. So we don't have an arm, but we do have the key. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and if you're back, welcome back. It's your boy Con4 with Falcon's Nest Gaming. Guys, the channel has been absolutely blowing up. Thank you so much. Before you joined us, we actually have been spamming scavs uh, both off stream and now we're live on stream. Um, because I wanted to find the key before we actually started the episode so as not to waste people's time. And so we are at a place now where that's exactly what we've done. We're going to go ahead and upgrade here, grab this and get rid of that, start that searching process. We need a helmet, so how about that? We'll take this and move that there, grab this, we'll get the half mask, sure. We actually killed his friend too, so he's got an RD-74. I don't know that I've ever used that. We're going to grab those. That's huge. I don't know if either one of these guys has something we could use to heal our arm, but it'll be all right. This is a, probably a, a yoink for sure. Fewer than half. Can we reload this, actually? Let's do that, right? Reload. Yep. Let's get a full clip in here. We also killed this guy's friend. Now, normally, I, they, you, they, they looted our guy. They, they loot our guys all the time. These guys, these... Dude, did you take his backpack, man? I needed the extra backpack, you jerk. God. So disrespectful. You know, I'm here trying to do something good. These guys are taking all our juice. Man, I don't even think this armor's worth it. Oh, Jesus. We probably need to go. We got the key, and I've got to show you guys this, so I need to make it there alive. And now... <laughs> I think you get the sense of what's going on today. This is not one of those clickbaity videos. This is just someone asked me um, how we did something. And I thought what better way to tell you how I did something than to actually show you. So as we get down here, I'm going to use the one heal we have to try to repair some of this damage. Unfortunately, the scabby scavs probably made off with the uh, heals these PMCs would have had. But... We killed the PMCs, and then we got over there, and we were so excited when we saw the key, we just had to hit record. So in the meantime, while I was trying to make sure that you guys were uh, were with us to experience this moment, um, well, someone made off with the heals we need. So we're going to be okay, but um, where we are is on uh, Klamov, whoa, Klamov Street, um, and this is really the northern section of the map, where we were is at the shopping mall which is at the northeast section of the map and where we're going is actually in the northwestern section of the map so we are gonna run from these stairs into that building but when I peeked my head earlier it seemed like we got shot at I'm gonna go ahead and um, heal up real quick I can't do anything about the fact that we've lost a piece of ourselves right now but we'll worry about that later let's get this on our hot bar just so uh, reasons um, get the actual magazines that we're going to be using. Actually, I probably need that. You're not even full, so we're just going to go ahead and take care of this problem. Same with you. We only want full magazines because you'll see if we make it to the room. What it, when we make it to the room, um, <laughs> when we make it to the room, you'll see we're going to need this space. So let's get that up there because that's actually 30 rounds of sweetness. We got a hollow, and this is on full auto. Yeah, okay, cool. Whoever shot at me, listen, if you take one more sh I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing, and I'm going to focus on you. And that's not what you want right now. I got money on the brain, and you better, you, you'd you be better off just leaving us there. You know what I mean? I'm trying to show folks something. So you go through there, um, and then you're going to head this way. We're basically just moving from east to west. 
uh, following that road, basically the same direction, and we're heading over to this building right here. Uh, it's a little rainy in Tarkov today, so please don't feel like I'm yelling at you, but we're going to get through this gate, go over this way, and I just heard a PMC. Now, because we have the key, and because I see a body, I'm not waiting. If these guys decide to push, I want to be inside. Yeah, they're pushing. We want to be inside and have them forced to come up to where we are, because they won't be able to climb up this shit, right? Um, and then if they do try to, we can just melt them on the way. Bottom line is, there's very, very valuable keys where we're going, and we do not have a secure container. So, we either need to kill them, or just let them kill each other. And I'm going with let them kill each other, because honestly, we're going to spend a ton of time in this room when we get there. Uh, because it's probably going to be so worth, hopefully. Um, and, in the time that we spend, these guys are probably going to either kill each other or just bug off. This door is part of a quest that you need called the door, by the way. Um, so also important for your uh, PMC playthrough. But this is the door that opens with the key we found. So in this room, there's going to be these little um, blanket things that you need to walk through um, because they actually won't stop you. So just walk through those, pay no attention to all the bodies, head through this one, open the door and this is the single most valuable profitable ridiculous room in the game now we may not find a bunch of marked keys in this room but i have personally found up to three marked keys in this room and i've done several runs so we're about to go through right now and see what we get but if you want to know how we got to over 500 million this was about 250 million just right here. So we're going to close up the door and we're going to scour this place. You're going to want to look over here. See we got a diary and you're going to want to look along this left side. Now it is a little dark in here and I don't think we have a light on this weapon. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to help with that. But check here and then also look around the grates on the ground because there's several key spawns that unless you're paying attention you might miss. As an example, I'm looking at a marked key right now, but it blends into these rusted floors, so if you're not watching that, you may miss it. And then some of the things actually spawn almost underneath the grating here, so be careful for that as well. All we're going to do is, uh, is grab every single key we get, and we hope that we get a big, big key. Kiba Enter is huge. That's a huge, huge win. We're going to get all the keys on the ground last, but um, just going to kind of check these windowsills because there's key spawns there. Um, and then we really are just going to work from front to back here. So as you can see, we've got a M1911A. We've got a Lexus key, so that's not bad. We've got an OR key, not sure what that is. And we have right there a dorms marked key, right? So I don't know uh, how much you guys know about dorms marked keys, but that key, last time I checked, is 17 million. So right here, you can see the value of uh, what it is we're doing. I get asked all the time, um, is, or, and I've asked myself, um, is scavrep worth it, right? Scavrep is absolutely worth it. If we had spawned in on our scav and we had gone into that um, gone into that, uh, what is the word, the mall, duh, <laughs> and the boss was there, he would have killed us, right? Um, because we have max scav rep, we can literally just walk right by him and not, uh, not be in any worry at all about him attacking us. So that's awesome. There you have it, um, dorms marked room key, right? And, uh, that's exactly how you would do it. You go to that mall from wherever you spawn in. You see if that key's there. If it's not, reset, go back. Um, you can do it on a scav without max scav rep, but just know if you get that key and uh, the boss is over there and he sends every scav in the area after you, it's a real feels bad moment. So I wouldn't recommend it. I would do this key after you get max scav rep. So I know that's, you know, if you're going to do it on your scav. Now, if you're not doing it on your scav, actually, if you're on your PMC, you know, it is what it is. Go over there, kill everyone in sight, and see if you got a key there. But if you're scaving, 
in particular without max sky rep i think that's where if the boss is up it can be really really challenging but if the boss isn't up then it really doesn't matter and early wipe there's not a lot of uh not a lot of bosses spawning so depending on when you do it this is something you could do on pvp as well um, these keys are s super valuable no matter what version of the game you play right um, and we got some movement down here so because we have a key worth 17 million uh, we're just gonna take our time <laughs> we're gonna take our time getting out of here because what we want to do is also show you guys is that is that a PMC yep absolutely was a PMC yep you do you're about to have some more I'm not playing with you better go on somewhere <laughs> like for real dude we are getting out with this key um, just that simple so listen man you think it's all about the PMCs? I'm all about the scav life too, baby. You know, this guy sounded like he was over here, yeah. There you go. There's another casualty for you. Would you like some more? I don't even know if we can reload at this point. Did we lose a mag? I feel like we left. Yeah, we lost a mag. Okay, so let's get our mag back. These guys aren't going to climb up here. Um, at least I don't think so. And in the meantime, we can try to at least get some uh, some ammunition back in this weapon, but boy oh boy is business picking up look guys it's it's dorms marked room right there so that's outstanding um let's see about do we have anything no all right well is what it is how much did we get in there about half i could probably just unload the other one my only fear is that someone else is out here and we're about to leave uh, it's a 17 mil key, so I'm not going to worry about looting those guys because if someone creeps on us, and these AI have been absolutely murderous lately, I don't want to uh, to risk potentially losing that. It's not worth it. We've got an extract, actually, I believe, super close. Do we have basement? We have basement, so that is what we need. Basement, if you have that extract, is right this way. So if you're here and you've got one of these crazy valuable keys, just take basement that is the best option if basement isn't available typically the Klamov shopping mall extract would be available in which case you would just run back the way you came um, and use that extract that you guys saw me using earlier on stream if you didn't see it on the video that extract is in the same place where we actually got the key you just go upstairs on the first floor and then go to the left and downstairs um, by the front of the store and there's your extract so we got the key we needed we opened the door and our reward a dorms marked key 10 of 10 so we gotta make sure that when we load out that we get that out of the scavs inventory because that is a huge huge win for us and you're about to see um, yeah, those guys had a bad day in raid today. You're about to see uh, exactly how much value you can pull out of this. So we're just going to quick sell uh, just whatever we have on our scab at the moment. This is part of something else we're working on. But we're going to take every key that we got out of it, and then we're going to take a look at exactly how much money we were able to make off of just one of those keys. Um, I may actually keep the dorms key, depending on where mine actually is. I think I... I think I may need to buy one, um, but you know, yeah, yeah, I'll probably keep it. But we'll keep it in the in the tally though for everyone, so you know exactly how much we would have made if you decided to sell that key. Personally, um, for me, it just has more value because I love dorms. Um, but you know, if you didn't need to keep it, I could certainly understand. We have enough contacts. I'm not worried about the rest of this, so we're just going to sell all for the sake of everyone's time. And then we're going to take a quick look at uh, loading these keys onto the flea market, and we'll take a look at what that marked key is worth, and then we can get a sense of exactly how much you can expect to make um, if you're able to get that key. So, wait a second here um, as we load in. So. Um, if it's, you know, <laughs> if there's anything to be said, um, 
for you guys lately. I just I just wanted to take a second to thank you all for um, joining the channel, um, for taking a look at the videos. The response has been amazing. If this is the first video you've seen, this is kind of how we roll. There's not going to be any fancy thumbnails or any crazy sales pitch. I'm just going to try to upload quality Tarkov videos for as many people who need them uh, and try to help out as many people as I can. So uh, that's some money that we made from selling some boxes. That's got nothing really to do with uh, what we're going to talk about here in the video today, but um, that's just a project we've been working on to try to make ourselves some room here. And uh, real quick for anyone who has been on the channel real quick, I'll give you an update on that. And then we're going to move into these keys. But before we do, let's go ahead and get this thing sold. Why are we selling our items boxes? Um, well, because we are upgrading to fix, and I mean the big ones. So we've spent $129 million, uh, just today on uh, thick cases. Um, so that's probably going to continue because we do need at least one more. We're just waiting on a reset. So there you see the biggest way that we can make um, the juiciest amount. And speaking of which, this dorms key, if you look at it right now, a 10 of 10 dorms key on PoE, uh, PVE, there I got PoE on the brain, $18.8 million, right? So that one drop was $19 million that we were able to make right there. And that's really with our first uh, key pop of the night. So. We'll go through real quick and we'll list these, but as you can see, these are not shabby keys. And even if it's not a marked key, you have a chance at getting some really good value. Speaking of really good value, Kiba Inner typically goes for at least around that. So um, sometimes it shoots up north of that. It really kind of depends on where you are in the white, but um, that is a key that uh, that is needed if you're working through Lightkeeper quest line, but also it's a key that can get you to a very looty area so people tend to buy them up um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and list all these um, but yeah as we're looking through you know we had a hundred thousand we had you know several fifty thirty thousand so you know I would say ballpark uh, let's take a look at this one first oh that's trash these are all gonna be relatively meh right so I think all in all with the marked room key um, you know we got about 18 million, let's call it 18, 9, right? It's about 19 million, all things considered, from one key pop. Now, the key there is scav rep. As you can see, my scav rep is ridiculous. I take vehicle extracts every chance I get. Um, and we did do some scav runs on this account in order to amass such a fortune. So that's a big way. The other ways that I wanted to share with you guys in the context of the same video is in building your hideout. If you've watched anything that we've been doing on our fresh wipe on PVP, you'll notice that I have really invested all of our money into building the hideout, and this is why. When we logged in this morning, after doing PVP for two days, we had five Bitcoins literally sitting here waiting for us because Bitcoin level three, once you get these GPUs, it just pumps out Bitcoin after Bitcoin after Bitcoin, you get literally about one and a half to two-ish thereabouts a day with Bitcoin level three. So super worth to invest. And then the other thing is getting a water collector um, and using water filters to then make the super water, purified water, right? And then we use that purified water combined with sugar to make moonshine. Now, why do we make the moonshine? Well, people use it for their scav boxes. I'm sure everyone knows that, but I at this point in the wipe sell it because it's always super worth so that one moonshine and this is just something that you'll get from having those hideout upgrades um, is super lucrative that's half a million so we'll then go ahead and we'll sell off these bitcoins and again that's an extreme example of having bitcoin three but even bitcoin one we just set that up on pvp live uh, on stream yesterday as of today we're eight of ten on our pvp account and we're going to get one Bitcoin every 30-ish hours right now until we get the last uh, two. So, you know, one of these is 800K. And if you're getting that every day, and sure, you're going to have to pay for what it takes to run the power, that's huge. God, look at how much money uh, that we just made. So whether you're on PvP, PvE, or any form of Tarkov, if you're planning on playing that wipe for any length of time, Upgrading your hideout, getting that Bitcoin going, and getting your uh, moonshine production going, and 
Finding ways to farm these marked keys can be huge in uh, helping you get some of that early wipe money um, and really set yourself up for long-term uh, ease, let's say, because once you get a certain amount of money, let's just face it, you don't really worry as much, and then the game just becomes a lot more fun. So if you notice in our key tool that we usually have, we've got an empty space, and that empty space is because we like to hit up dorms and we like to hit up marked rooms. So forgive me for not selling that as part of the video, but I hope you understand I intend to use that one for myself, and I'll take you guys along for that journey when we get there. But thank you for joining us today for the video. If you're on stream, hang tight. The stream will continue. And if you joined us on YouTube by clicking on this, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope some of that helps you get uh, get ahead of the competition in your wipe. Thanks. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.